YouTube. Um, my name is Calisti and I'm here to talk about some basic uh, books that people who are looking into Wicca and Paganism might be interested in. Uh, these are definitely some things that you should check out if you're looking into alternative uh, spiritualities and religions. First up we're going to have my favorite and uh, it's by one of my favorite Wiccan authors or Pagan authors. It's um, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. And uh, I believe it's by Lulin Books. Uh, it's a very, very good general overview of Wicca. It covers a lot of the religious aspects of Wicca. Um, it also focuses a lot on the ritual aspects, um, the holidays. Everything is covered in this book, at least briefly. And another thing I love about this book, if you check out the very back of it, it has some more um, books by Scott Cunningham that you can check out, and some of these are just really great, like uh, Truth About Witchcraft Today, um, The Complete Book of Witchcraft, uh, Living Wicca, uh, Magical or Herbalism, which is a great book. Now, on to the next one, we have uh, Simply Wicca, which is another great book. Um, it's for, by... Uh, Michelle Morgan, and it's from Castle Books, not Llewellyn, which is kind of strange because usually when you see a Wiccan book, it was put out by Llewellyn. They're kind of the pagan and Wiccan publishing company. <laughs> but um, this one is another great one. It's very basic. Um, this is a great one if you have parents, if you're you know living at home, if you have parents that might not completely understand Wicca or paganism, and you might want to tell them about it. This is a great one to have them read. It covers everything in depth. It doesn't get too, you know, crazy about it. It's, it's just a great book. And uh, another reason I love it is, well, my dad actually bought this one for me, so, yeah. Then we have uh, Wiccan Beliefs and Practices. This one's by uh, Gary Cantrell. And another Lululemon book. It's a... Uh, it's a great, begin er, great beginner's guide, but also goes a little bit more in-depth into things that um, Scott Cunningham's book didn't talk about. Uh, it talks about ethical things with witchcraft, um, physically challenged uh, witchcraft, say if you're handicapped and have um, wheelchairs and stuff, you, it doesn't automatically mean you can't be Wiccan. Wiccan is a religion of spirituality. Um, it also talks about some legal aspects, uh, knowing your rights as a Wiccan. So that's another great book. And here we have the last one I'd like to show you today. And it's a, a Witch's Notebook. It's by a Silver Raven Wolf. And usually, it, it's another Llewellyn book, I believe. But usually, I don't like what Silver Raven Wolf, like, her, I don't like her books very much. But that's usually because it caters to more the fluff bunny oh, I'm 13, I'm totally become, gonna become a witch and cast spells type crowd. No, this one, this one is actually pretty serious and pretty in-depth. I found it uh, very mature, and uh, it covers a lot of things that her other books don't really talk about in-depth. Um, it's, it's a great book to have on your shelves. It's a great book to read through, and I'd really recommend it for anyone that's looking into uh, going further with their Wicca and Paganism. Okay, and that'll be, you know, my video for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just, you know, put them in the bottom. Or, you know, message me. I don't care. Bye, YouTube.